This is Interchange English Grammar and Composition, Class Nine, Chapter Twenty One, Advertisements. An advertisement is a paid public notice. It appears in any of the print media or electronic media. It informs the reader about a product, person, need, or event. More particularly, it is designed to appeal to a mass audience in order to persuade. Motivate and encourage people to approve or buy a particular product, service, or activity. Advertising is a type of communication whereby people promote or persuade customers to utilize their services. There are usually two types of advertisements in the print media: display advertisements and classified advertisements. Display advertisements. Display advertising is a type of advertising that comes in several forms, including banner ads. Rich media and more. Unlike text-based ads, display advertising relies on elements such as images, audio, and video to communicate an advertising message. Therefore, display advertising or banner advertising is a form of advertising that conveys a commercial message visually using text, logos, animations, photographs, or other graphics. See the examples below. On the book, it is shown a big banner. With a logo on the left side that says "Gioni Selfie and Battery," and it's an advertisement for a mobile phone. And there's a picture of a person taking a selfie with her phone. Classified advertisements. Classified advertisements, often called classified ad, are normal text advertisements. In classified ads. Advertisements are classified into different categories depending on their function, like job vacancies, to let, sale and purchase of property or vehicles or goods, missing persons, tour and travels, etc. Classified advertisements are generally text-based ads where newspaper agencies generally change on the number of words used, whereas display ads are space-based. So. The only concern in a classified ad is to get things noticed with as minimal words as possible. See the examples below. Wanted: a small, confident PA stenographer for a leading export house. Qualification: graduate. Age: 25 to 30 years. Typing speed: 40 words per minute. Shorthand speed: 100 words per minute. Preference to those who can handle computer. Salary negotiable. Apply with complete bio data by the twentieth April to Secretary, Orient Export House, Itahari, phone number zero two five one 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 one, and below that there is a second classified advertisement. Required: a female front office assistant with some knowledge of computers in Hotel Yak and Yeti Kathmandu. The candidate must be graduate and good in communication skills with pleasing manners. Experienced applicant preferred. Salary negotiable. Interested candidates may submit their bio data before 15th July 2017 at Hotel Yak and Yeti reception. For further details, contact us at zero one four 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 six seven five. Besides classified ads, there are other different text advertisements. In this unit, we learn about some job vacancy advertising. Look at the following specimen job advertising. In the book, there are two advertisements shown. The first one, in the top left corner, there's the UNHCR logo, and there's the title says "Vacancy Announcement." And there's a big paragraph under it, and it says, "UNHCR is seeking for suitable candidates to join sub office in Quetta." We are pleased to announce the following two positions in national officer capacity. Associate Field Officer (NOB) and Assistant Protection Officer (NOA). For full job description and UNP11 form, please visit our UNHCR website www.hcrpk.org. Written application includes a cover letter and UNP11 form. Are due by 9th November 2014, Sunday. In reference, indicate the position and vacancy number. The applications should be addressed to the admin or finance office, UNHCR, 
PO Box number 30, Sub Office Keta, and can be sent electronically to PAKUHR at UNHCR.org. Female candidates are strongly encouraged to apply. In the second advertisement, it says Vacancy Announcement. And the paragraph there below it says, an INGO working in the education sector in Nepal seeks qualified Nepali national to fill a position of deputy director. Duty position of this position is at the INGO's office in Kathmandu and will include frequent trips to visit project sites. Minimum qualification, master's or higher degree in education management or related field. At least 10 years of working experience in organizational management and HR development. Proven track record of working with INGOs and NGO counterparts. Strong leadership capacity and team management skill. Excellent English language and report writing skills. Expressions of interest should be received before 15th March 2012. Only shortlisted candidates will be notified and called for interviews. Interested applicants may submit their cover letter and an updated CV to ISO Nepal at isoint.org. And there's a third advertisement. It says vacancy at the top and underneath it says manager of worker betterment. And in the paragraph below it says Sprout Technology Services Limited is looking for a manager of worker betterment to develop business acumen to complement organization objective, meet client expectations, and support worker needs. Required qualifications. At least a master's degree in e-learning or instructional technology that incorporates theory and practice related to instruction design and development from an internationally recognized university. Minimum five years professional experience in training and consulting. Must have knowledge and experience in learning management system such as Modal, Desire to Learn, and Blackboard. Experience in iPad implementation and using pedagogical and radiological ex applications. Must have knowledge of strategies to integrate technology into learning environment. Must have project management skills and research skills. Qualified candidates are asked to submit their resume along with the cover letter by post at EPC 2283 by June 20th, 2017. Nepalese citizens will be given preference for above mentioned position. Writing help. 1. Begin with wanted or required as a headline. Include the following. Name of the advertising organization. Post and number of vacancies for which it is advertised. The age and gender of the candidate required. Qualification and requisite experience needed for the post. Pay scale, perks, and also the mode of applying, like email, postal, etc. Contact address and phone number of correspondence. Show what you know. 1. Suppose you are the head teacher of a primary school. Your school has a vacancy for the post of primary math teacher. Now write an advertisement for the post to be published as a classified ad. 2. Suppose you are the chief ex executive officer of a company. The company has a vacancy for the post of receptionist, female. Now write an advertisement for the post to be published as a text ad. 3. Suppose you are the principal of an English medium secondary school. Your school has a vacancy for the post of secondary science teacher. Now, write an advertisement for the post to be published in a national newspaper. 4. Write and design an advertisement for the post of dance coach at your dance center. 5. Write and design an advertisement for the post of a cricket coach for a local cricket club in your area. 6. You are the general manager of a leading industrial concern. You need a chartered accountant for your office. Draft an advertisement in not more than 100 words to be published in the Rising Nepal. 7. You want lady teachers for your school for nursery and primary classes. Draft a classified advertisement. 8. You want skills person and accountant for your boutique. Draft an advertisement. 
End of chapter 21.